Hello, and welcome to this tech tip from Will. In this tech tip, I will show you how to create a bootable USB flash drive for Windows 8 or 8.1 using your Windows installation DVD. I will start by explaining what a bootable USB flash drive is and why they are useful. Next, I will explain what you will require in order to create the bootable USB flash drive. And finally, I will demonstrate how to create the bootable flash drive. So let's get started. First of all, what exactly is a bootable USB flash drive? A bootable USB flash drive, in a nutshell, is a USB drive which contains all of the Windows installation files. Where do these installation files come from? Well, they are copied directly from your Windows 8 or 8.1 DVD to the USB flash drive. After the install files have been placed onto the flash drive, you can then use the flash drive to install Windows, fix startup problems, and even restore backups. Simply put, you can do everything with the flash drive that you can with the traditional Windows DVD. This is all very well, but it does beg the question, why would you want to do this? Well, there are a number of reasons. First, flash memory is faster than optical memory. Therefore, installing Windows from a flash drive should be quicker than installing it using the DVD. Also, most smaller devices nowadays, such as tablets and notebooks, come without a built-in DVD drive. Therefore, installing Windows from a USB flash drive, in some cases, could be your only option. Lastly, USB flash drives are more robust than DVDs. That is, data stored on flash drives is less likely to become corrupted. DVDs are extremely volatile. They are susceptible to scratches, scuffs and marks, all of which can damage the media. USB flash drives, however, do not have the same vulnerabilities. Now that we have discussed what bootable USB flash drives are and the reasons for creating them, let's take a look at what you will need in order to create a bootable flash drive. First, you will need your Windows 8 or 8.1 DVD. You will also need a blank USB drive with at least 4GB capacity. Lastly, you will need a computer with a DVD drive. Now that all of the theory is done and dusted, I will now demonstrate how to create a bootable USB flash drive on my Windows 8.1 computer. First, insert your Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 DVD into the computer. Next, Insert a USB flash drive which has at least 4GB of usable space. If I open File Explorer, you can see that my Windows DVD and my 16GB USB flash drive are already inserted. Next, you need to open a command prompt with administrative privileges. If you are working from Windows 8.1, you can do this by right-clicking the Start button and selecting Command Prompt Admin from the list of options. If, however, you are still working from a Windows 8 computer, open Charms, select Search, and type in Command Prompt. Right-click the Command Prompt icon and select Run as Administrator from the list. When the Command Prompt opens, enter the command Disk Part. Notice that the command prompt is now prefixed with the word disk part to indicate we are now in fact in the disk part utility. Next, enter the command list disk. This will list all of the disks that are present in your computer. From here, you need to select the disk which represents your USB drive. In my case, this is disk 2 since this is a 16 gigabyte disk. Of course, your flash drive could have a different disk number. To select the disk, enter the command SELECT DISK 2. Disk part will confirm that the disk has been selected. Next, enter the command CLEAN. 
This will erase the USB flash drive, so make sure that you have no important data on the drive beforehand. Disk part will confirm when the flash drive has been cleaned. Next, enter the command create partition primary. This will create a new partition which occupies all of the available space on the USB flash drive. Disk part will confirm when the partition has been created. Next, you need to format the partition. To do this, enter the command format fs equals ntfs quick. It should only take a moment for disk part to format the partition. Next, we need to make the flash drive bootable. To do this, enter the command active. Finally, enter the command exit. This will leave the disk part utility and return you to the regular command prompt. The flash drive has now been prepared and is now bootable. The last thing we need to do is copy all of the Windows installation files from the Windows 8 or 8.1 DVD onto the flash drive. To do this, you will need the drive letters of your DVD and USB flash drives. If I open File Explorer, you will see that the drive letter for my DVD drive is D, and the drive letter of my flash drive is E. Of course, your drive letters could be different. Now that I know what my drive letters are, I will close File Explorer and return to the Command Prompt window. From here, I will issue the final command. X copy, followed by the drive letter of my DVD drive, which is D, followed by a colon, and a backslash, and then by an asterisk, a dot, and another asterisk. Next, leave a space and enter the drive letter for your USB flash drive, which in my case is letter E, followed by another colon and a backslash. Finally, add a forward slash and the letter S. This command may seem a little strange to most, so let me explain what it means. Essentially, the command is saying copy everything from the D drive over to the E drive. One by one, the files from the Windows installation DVD will copy over to the USB flash drive. This can take rather a long time to complete. I will warn you, at times, it may seem as though the copy process has frozen. But be patient, let the command run, and eventually it will complete. When the command completes, you will be notified. The USB flash drive is now fully prepared and can be used in the same way as your Windows 8 or 8.1 DVD. If I open File Explorer and open up the USB flash drive, you will see that it contains exactly the same files as the Windows DVD. This concludes this tech tip from Will. I hope you have found this tech tip useful. If you would like to see more Windows 8 and 8.1 tech tips, please feel free to browse our YouTube channel. Many thanks, and we'll see you on the next tech tip.